In the latest update of DaVinci Resolve Studio, we finally have gotten what we've been asking for for a while now. That is the ability to auto-generate subtitles. I'm super pumped about this because a lot of clients ask me to create subtitles for their videos, and now it's gonna be way faster to do so. And if you're new here, I'm Ali, and Will and I release weekly tutorials all about videography, video editing, as well as gear reviews. And coming up soon, I'm gonna be releasing a tutorial deep diving into DaVinci Resolve's audio editing work page the Fairlight page. So if you want to stick around for that, subscribe to our channel. Now let's hop into Resolve and make some subtitles. All right, so we're in the edit page and I have this video project here I'd like to create subtitles for. Let's right click on the track here and choose add subtitle track. There we go. At the top here, choose timeline, create subtitles from audio. And we have a pop-up window that gives us a few options we could adjust. The only thing I'd consider adjusting is the maximum characters per line. 42 is probably good, but you can bring it all the way up to 60. So let's go with that for now and choose create. Resolve's gonna do its thing and analyze our audio. Okay, awesome. And just like that, we now have our subtitles created and they have cut points based on the cuts in our audio track. Let's have a quick listen to see how accurate these subtitles are. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reduce and maybe even remove annoying background sounds in DaVinci Resolve. And that did a pretty awesome job. Now let's say like here, I need to edit my text because I actually say in DaVinci Resolve, we'll select that subtitle, which over here in the subtitle window brings us right to that caption and we can edit it up here. Use the next button to skip to the next part if we want to. When we select any of the subtitles on our timeline, Resolve will jump to that spot and show it here. And let's say you wanna customize your font. We can do so by going over to track, choosing the font type we want. We could change the color of our font, turn background on and change the color of that as well. You can adjust the position of your subtitles, zoom them bigger or smaller and so on. Another nice thing is when you apply your customizations to one chunk of your subtitles, those settings are applied to all of them. And one important thing I wanna show you is how to export your video with the subtitles. So let's go over to the deliver page. In the render settings, name your file whatever you'd like, save it wherever you'd like, adjust your video and audio settings accordingly. On a side note, if you wanna know the best export settings in DaVinci Resolve, I'll link that tutorial above and below in the description, okay. Go down to subtitle settings. Make sure you have exported subtitle check marked under format. You have a few different options. I'm gonna choose burn into video so that they show up baked into the video. Add to render queue, render all, and there we go. That's how easy it is to create subtitles in Resolve. What do you think? Is this a tool you're gonna to be using all the time? Thanks for checking this video out. If you liked it and you wanna see more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, we have an entire playlist dedicated to just that. If you like the music you hear in this video or you wanna know any of the gear that we recommend, check out the description below. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for checking this video out and we'll see you in another one.